Hey everyone, my name is Mackenzie. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a part of Actua's outreach team. Today, I will be guiding you through a really fun STEM activity where we will be creating psychedelic milk. We recommend the following activity for grades three and up. For this activity, you will need some food coloring, a little bit of milk, dish soap, a plastic container with a flat bottom, as well as a towel to protect your workstation. It's really important that we have this towel because food coloring can stain, so we need to protect our workstation as well as our clothes. To begin the activity, you will pour some milk into the bottom of your container. Fantastic. Next, you will put a few droplets of each color of food coloring into the middle of your container. So you want to make sure that it's close to the center and you can put as many droplets as you want. I'm putting about four to five droplets of each color. As well, you can use any colors that you have in your kitchen. Amazing. The next step will be to put one droplet of soap into the middle of your container in between all of your colors. What you will begin to see is that the food coloring will move away from the soap and start to well up beneath, beneath the surface of the milk. Milk is mostly made up of water and water has a property called surface tension. This is when water molecules are strongly attracted to other water molecules, but not to air. Dish soap is designed to break up the surface tension so water can dissolve fats and grease. So, when we added the soap to the milk, it broke the surface tension, causing that area to stretch while the rest of the surface shrunk. This shrinkage pushes the food coloring downwards, but it gets pulled back up by the current flowing back towards the dish soap. This movement is caused by the soap molecules bonding to the fats and proteins in the milk and is what creates the beautiful patterns. You can keep adding soap to create more changes in the movement and color patterns until all of the bonding has occurred. However, after the bonding is complete, more soap will have no effect. You can repeat this experiment in two other ways to create different patterns and movement within the milk. The first steps will remain the same, but adding the soap is where it will differ. The first way to change the pattern in the milk is by taking a Q-tip and dipping it directly in soap. Then you will take that Q-tip and put it in the center of your container, and you can even twirl the Q-tip to create a swirl effect. The next way that you can change the pattern in the milk is by taking a few small rocks or coffee beans and covering them in soap. You will then take the beans or the rocks and drop them directly into your container. They will sink to the bottom of the container, letting off more soap and creating more movement within the milk. You can repeat this experiment as many times as you want and the pattern will always turn out different. I hope you enjoyed creating psychedelic milk with me today. Thank you so, so much for joining and be sure to follow our YouTube page for more STEM content. As well, if you take any pictures of your experiment today, be sure to take Actua on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and we'll see you next time.